Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't think I would be back with another what I eat in a day so soon, but I truly love these videos and being able to give you guys meal inspiration. Since I've kind of changed my lifestyle into being completely non-restrictive, eating what I want, when I want, and eating all the food groups, I think it can be really helpful for anyone who was where I was along my first weight loss journey when I was super restrictive, was eating super low calories. And if I can help one girl get out of that rut or not go through what I went through, that would be amazing. So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything I eat, all the meals and snacks that I'm eating today. Please give this video a thumbs up, please like and subscribe, and let's get into the food. Okay guys, it's breakfast time, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm having, honestly, let me just cut the crap, I'm having the same breakfast I had the last time. Sometimes I will go through phases where I have oatmeal a lot and that's what I really, really like, or I have granola and Greek yogurt, but right now I'm on my Weetabix phase. I'm not going to show you guys how I make it again for the third time, but you guys just know I do one cup of milk and then two and a half biscuits and that is my favorite breakfast that literally keeps me full all the way through to lunchtime. So I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna eat that, and then I promise the next meal is gonna be more exciting and brand new ones that you guys haven't seen yet. You guys, it is lunchtime right now, it's 2.26. I always seem to have lunch about 2.30, that's really about the time that I get hungry, and I'm really big on not eating just because it's a certain time of day. I have some leftover garlic mini naan bread. I made some stuffed chicken pitas the other night. Um, I'll put up a picture here because I'll probably do a what I eat in a day recipe for that soon. I'm so sorry I didn't film it. But I have some of these left and I'm gonna make a little egg flatbread sandwich for my lunch. Okay, so I'm starting out with one teaspoon of basil pesto and just moving this around and heating it up on our pan and cracking two eggs in it. You guys, if you have not tried cooking your eggs in pesto, OMG, what are you waiting for? This is your sign to try it because it's freaking delicious. It does turn your eggs green, but it's well worth it. And while my eggs are cooking, I'm just gonna slice up a few slices of Roma tomato and season them with black pepper. I'm then gonna take our flatbread and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of water on that and bake it for one to two minutes at 425 degrees until it's flexible. I thought I was gonna do fried eggs like I usually do, but I was like, you know what, switch it up. We're gonna do scrambled eggs. And please do not judge that these look like blue cheese and disgusting because of the pesto, because the flavor in these eggs is out of this world. So once our naan is done, it will be super, super flexible like I just showed right there. I'm taking a pad of mayonnaise and just spreading this out over our flatbread. And then we're gonna start making our sandwich. So I'm taking a couple slices of tomatoes, a few pieces of lettuce, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put our eggs right on top of this. Don't worry that my eggs kind of fell off the sandwich because this is a deconstructed sandwich. You can push them on, you can have them falling off, no worries. I'm also gonna sprinkle on a little bit of mozzarella and then just top it off with a couple more slices of our Roma tomato because you guys, I'm tomato obsessed right now. Please do not knock this until you try it. I know it doesn't look that good, but it is a flavor bomb and so freaking fresh. So guys, it's about 3.45 now. I just got back from taking little Georgie for a walk. We did three kilometers. We're kind of doing our walks later in the day while we can now because it has started to get so cold here in Canada. Like it's going into the minuses with the wind chill and it's cold for me. He's fine, he seems to like it. So I'm gonna have a Bilt Bar. You guys know I love these. Hang on, let me put you down. This one is the peanut butter brownie one. Listen guys, I just love chocolate and usually around this time between supper and dinner, around four o'clock, the craving hits me to have a little bit of chocolate and I feel totally guilt-free having a Bilt Bar just because they are wrapped in dark chocolate, don't get me wrong, which is amazing, so I get my fix. But they're also low in sugar and packed with a ton of protein. This one has 19 grams of protein five grams of sugar at 180 calories. This one smells a little bit like a Justin's peanut butter cup, no lie. I love how soft the center on this one is too. This one's really like melts in your mouth. It literally is the texture of like a soft brownie. A peanut butter brownie, you guys, do not sleep. I think literally, if you're gonna try one, try this one because I think literally anyone will love it. It literally tastes like a mix between a Justin's peanut butter cup and a chocolate brownie and it's everything. I'm gonna go do a little bit of extra work. Georgie's gonna get his little cod treat so he can have a treat too because he likes a little treat after a walk and I will be back when we're having our next snack dinner, whatever the hell we're having. Look at this little munchkin back from his walk do you want a treat do you want a treat you want a treat it's about an hour later i'm craving a little fruit um i made a peanut butter greek yogurt dip yesterday so i'm just gonna cut up some granny smith apples and serve it with the dip um i didn't film myself making the dip so i do apologize but literally all you do is add in a little bit of peanut butter to greek yogurt 
and swirl it together until it's all combined and it makes the creamiest, most delicious dip. Can you guys tie like peanut butter? Okay guys, so it's later again. You guys, it is so cold today. I've got like the fireplace on. I've got the heat going. Winter is definitely here. I'm literally dying. Tonight we are having, drum roll please, lasagna soup. You guys, the best part about this whole thing is I literally don't have to make it. I just have to heat it up because I already made it and filmed it yesterday. And that is one of my biggest tips. Obviously, I love to cook at home and you guys know I try not to order out. But there are just some days, like I don't want to necessarily cook seven days a week. Sometimes you know when I'm done work for the day, it's nice to just maybe like catch up on a quick show, have like a little relax, not have to do cooking. It works really well because it's just Justin and I here. So I can either get like two dinners and a few lunches for Justin or three dinner portions for us when I make a soup in the Instant Pot, which is why it's one of my favorite things. So yeah, two day dinner is my tip for you guys. That way you're never literally like, it's around dinner time when you're like, oh, shall I Uber eat? Shall I order out? I'm not feeling it. No, cause it's already in the fridge and you just have to heat it up. So to start, I took 10 cloves of garlic. Obviously I only showed you two here and minced them. You guys, I'm garlic obsessed. If a recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, I'm using a whole head, I don't care. I'm then also chopping up one yellow onion before taking 500 grams of ground beef and one teaspoon of olive oil and just sauteing that on the saute function in the instant pot. We're also gonna season this with salt, black pepper, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Don't worry, we're gonna use more of this later in the soup. And then one teaspoon of oregano. Once your beef has started to brown, you can add in your onion and just soften up your onions for a couple of minutes until they're translucent. And then you're gonna go ahead and add in your garlic and let that cook until it's fragrant for about 30 minutes before turning your instant pot off. Here are all the things you're gonna need. We're using balsamic vinegar, beef broth, tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and of course, your lasagna noodles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and basically dump all of that in, starting with 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, our can of tomato sauce. Here I'm doing three cups of beef broth because I like a thicker soup. You could use more if you like a thinner soup. One teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and a dash of Worcestershire sauce. This is optional, but I think it adds a really amazing taste. And then I'm taking three tablespoons of our tomato paste and dumping that right in. Once you've done that, it's time to add your lasagna noodles. We're gonna take eight of these sheets and break them up into bite-sized pieces like I'm doing here. Bite-sized pieces are amazing because this is the way you're gonna control how much pasta is in every bite of your lasagna soup. You don't have to have too much or you can have a lot, it's up to you. This is what it looks like. Make sure your noodles are submerged and then set your Instant Pot onto manual for four minutes on high. While that is cooking, we're gonna take some fresh parsley and just mince that up with a knife right here. I'm also gonna do the same thing with some fresh basil. And then just set that aside because it is time to make our cheesy topping. And this, you guys, is the piece de resistance of the whole meal. You're gonna need ricotta, parmesan, and mozzarella. Take one cup of your ricotta cheese, Three quarter cups of your mozzarella. I would use shredded because it just makes your life so much easier. And a half cup of Parmesan cheese. I added two to three cloves of garlic right into this. And then some of our fresh basil and some of our fresh parsley. I just kind of eyeballed this because I'm gonna use the rest of the fresh herbs to top our soup at the end. And that's basically all it takes. We're gonna mix this together until it forms a nice creamy paste, you guys. Oh my God, it tastes phenomenal. You can season with some chili flakes and some black pepper and salt. And this is enough cheese literally for all of the portions of the soup I'm gonna make. So you can just put that in a Tupperware and leave it in the fridge until later. When our soup is done, you guys, it looks so amazing. I let the pressure naturally release for 10 minutes and then I do a quick pressure release to let the rest of the steam out. And it is basically done. Your house is gonna smell phenomenal. And this is your lasagna soup. I topped it with our ricotta cheese blend and just some more fresh herbs. You guys, the house smelled phenomenal and I died. We are actually just watching the Adele special, just finishing off, and then we're gonna watch Real Housewives, you guys. <laughs> guys, it is the episode of all episodes on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I mean, I don't wish misfortune on anyone, but honestly, like, how TV gold is it that all of this stuff was captured, like the arrest, the FBI, Homeland Security, like, it's the pinnacle. And Justin watches Real Housewives with me. It's actually funny because in our wedding vow, one of the questions of intent was, Justin, do you promise to honor Amy's commitment to watch all episodes of every season of The Real Housewives? And he agreed and he said, it's actually a good show. So he actually likes it. His favorite are like Atlanta and Potomac, but he's getting into all the other ones as well. Anywho, I'm about to have a snack. 
I'm gonna have, we're gonna have some bowls of popcorn because, you know, I live for my popcorn. This is my favorite popcorn by Papa Jack's. It's in my favorite snacks video that I have coming. So four cups of this is 210 calories. So I just do a bowl because our bowls are less than four cups. I'm gonna put it in a bowl about this size and then we're gonna go ahead and just settle down for the evening. And that, you guys, is gonna be my last snack of the night. So I'm gonna leave this video here now so we can go spend some time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if I should keep doing more. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We're signing out and we will see you. Georgie's here too. Georgie, say bye. You saying bye, George? Hmm. So he's gonna come snuggle up with us. So we will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.